Political party leaders, electoral umpires, civil society organizations, and international partners are here to discuss the future of Nigeria's democracy and how challenges facing the system can be addressed. Speakers here believe politicians have weaponized poverty and corruption to their advantage and to the detriment of the masses, and something drastic needs to be done to rebuild the collapsing institutions. We should come together. Political party difference uh, is just political party is just a vehicle that will take us to power. But what is important is what do we do with these powers when we get there? How does the power affect the common man? How does it affect the people? Our problem is not Tinubu. It's not federal government. It's not even those in office. It's a subsisting political culture that feeds on decay. Wrong conduct by the leaders, wrong demands from the followership. But it will always take proper leadership signaling to progressively push it back. With all fingers pointed at politicians as a scapegoat, National Chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Abdullahi Ganduje, is of a different opinion. Ganduje says politicians are merely a reflection of the entire society who face a lot of hurdles to get into political office. Because of the weakness of the institutions, corruption thrives. Because let us not be blaming the politicians, the office holders, those who win election. Yes, we blame them. But let us look at the whole system. Can you win election free from that? Let me tell you, even the common man is not honest. Now, if something starts going wrong in the country and you draw the attention of the president, say, this thing is harmful, he tells you he is a party leader. I have had an experience, a very nasty one. It's not as fine as it looks when we talk at seminars. You can't control. We have to strengthen our institutions. And it's all of us. People have spoken about cost of governance. We have spoken about local government autonomy. We have also spoken about all of us being victims. Because if you are complaining that people are buying votes, if there is no seller, there's, going to be, there's not going to be a buyer. Founder of Kuka Center, Bishop Matthew Kuka, says rather than passing the bulk the task of building a better Nigeria is a responsibility of all. Whether it's the judiciary, whether it's the bureaucracy, it's a work in progress. And the most important thing is for us to learn the, mistake, the mistakes of the past and then develop the mechanism for ensuring that things don't continue to repeat themselves. So if you ask who builds institutions, institutions are supposed to be a mirror reflecting the aspirations, the fears, the hopes and the anxieties of an entire people. That means that for the police to become an institution, for the bureaucracy to become an institution, Nigerians must collectively and individually learn to say no, you know, to things going contrary to the principles of that institution. The high-level stakeholders meeting facilitated by the Kuka Center in conjunction with the European Union aims to strengthen political parties to perform their core functions while ensuring that politicians change their orientation and work for the masses that voted for them.